Okay, that's that's what it is. It's uh, camping in Baja. We've escaped. There we are. That's like Watson Lake. It's 22 below. I'm chattering. I finally make it to uh, Baja, El Centro to Los Cerritos. About 1,450 kilometers one way for us. And we camped some places. Uh, apparently, who knew you can do that in uh, Baja? The roads are narrow. Uh, even good drivers. Every now and then, I'm sure if you're going to go there lots, you'll lose like a mirror. So there's some things to watch for. But this is just mostly about the camping. We looked for secure campgrounds. We we're not. We boondocked a little, but we weren't quite set up for it. Uh, we're babies. We wanted to sell to hotspot, to tell sell. To, um, we wanted everything. And the, the campgrounds that we, we picked were secure. We never had a problem anywhere. And uh, they were like 12 to uh, maybe 30-ish US a night. 12 got you the basic, um, like, Santa's back. Uh, it would be boondocked. No septic or anything. Nothing. Sells up the hill. But you run your solar, keep your batteries going, your fridge goes. I think people just argue a little bit and you learn this game a little bit. So you can hang around for a while. A lot of people were there. One couple we met, I think, were there five months. I, if I got that correct, I don't know. I've had a lot of strokes. My memory is just crap. So this is our Gonzaga Bay. We didn't stop at San Felipe Bay, by the way. We were with this couple, and they had the pedal to the metal. So we made it to Gonzaga Bay. Freaked out rookies at the Baja because the road was just crazy. And uh, it was, well, look. It's uh, pretty nice. It's a nice way to welcome yourself to Baja. Or to be welcome to Baja. And there was nobody there. And secure. It was at twelve dollars, and then we go, and uh, just beautiful, beautiful. Should have stayed longer, and probably, maybe will next time. Well worth a look. And that side that took a, a dog's pedal. Then we went to Guerrero Negro. Here we are. It did fill up a little more. Not so good for the long rigs. This was uh, twenty twenty-two. our first view of Via Maria uh, Isabella sorry yeah Via Maria Isabella RV Park there's oops I'm crooked because I'm looking at the paper I think there's room and uh, we're gonna stay here what sure. Colin oh welcome <laughs> okay we're yeah Mulehe Mulehe and we're droning. I finally got the drone up. I, I, idioto. We have a drone and I, we finally got it up. And you can see this is actually going north. Um, it's same as going south. Nobody's there. Nobody cares. Skipper. Skipper wanted 25. Katarina waved the 20 and uh, he didn't have change. We had, had some bigger money. Anyways, he took 20. Snatched it up and was a happy man. Him and his mom. Uh, Daniel, I think his real name is. Yeah, really nice pool. We never swam in it. Colder than hell. A lot, of, a lot of these pools are quite cool up here. Like, this is the winter. They're they're wandering around with uh, jackets on, and uh, we think it's summer. But it's still, was that like maybe 20 degrees here? So a good campground, good bathrooms, good everything. Power, septic, everything you need. And the highway's right there. You get out in the morning and you're gone. Just beautiful. If this might be the sign here, Santa Spec. It says we're gonna make a. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it's just ahead. Santa's back. That. video said he said you come around the corner and there it is and holy shit there it is oh my god gotten him my mother would say and there's the road so I'm gonna go down to the left here to fly us at this back right there it's okay we have to face face with the park here it's okay, that's why I just got some. Debbie and Dan messaged us this morning and they said, once you get in, make a right and we'll find them. 
Yeah, that's a double D right there with the toy hauler, the quads, two of everything. Well, three dogs, pardon me. A Lanny and two and us. Every, it's like everybody's got so much land there. It's just a great, great place. Very, very shallow. We'll see if we can get Katarina to go in the water and show us how far you have to walk to actually get into some water. That's a treacherous little drive to get in there. This one was again 12, 200 pesos a night, 12 bucks US a night. And they had a guard, but uh, he, he wasn't there all night, but there was absolutely no problems. I heard, I've heard of people who have everything stolen here, but um, that's usually if you wander off somewhere and leave your stuff out in the open. We never had a problem anywhere, anywhere in the entire Baja couple month thing. Oh, there she is. No dolphins uh, today, but they frequent this bay. Yep, yep. Now we start to get into some good beaches. Like there's a coyote burrow. This place is just now. Oh, there's Wapo and Nibbles, the feral dogs. They got great feral dogs in this land, and that's their pet bird. Okay, January 9th, quarter to ten in the morning. We're leaving our little campground here at San Despac, Playa San Despac. It has just been amazing. We've met Lanny and Sue, Dan and Debbie, Double D. Been traveling with them actually, south on the one all the way down from El Centro, and Bruce and Maureen. Just amazing, amazingly nice folks. They're all retired. We're semi retired, so hence we're leaving because Katarina's got to work. We'll go to Loreto. Just like. It's pretty hard to describe. It's nice. It's nice. Water's really shallow. You can walk almost out to that boat. You can walk to that paddleboard out there. I mean, way out there. She was way out there yesterday. It was up to her, barely up to her waist. It's not really good for swimming. Playa Santa Spec, highly recommended. 20, 200 pesos a night. Uh, cheaper if you stay longer. These people booking for months at a time. Let's get out of here. Ready? Yep. This is the trick getting in here. That bank over there is very narrow. I mean narrow. They keep it narrow because if you're not a skilled driver, you don't get to come to this special place. And these rock walls right here, are you have to scrape them with your mirror to get out. Are you sure you don't want me to get out and watch? No. Watch what? Main thing is get your trailer over right away to the left. It's really rough too. Then scrape this rock with your mirror. Good look at that. I'm not far enough. Now I gotta watch my mirror there. You just watch your driving, not not my filming, Mr. Check Bill. the mirror in the bottom. I'm watching the mirror on the bottom. Filming the mirror in the bottom. Oh we're good. It's way easier coming out. Coming in, I was over the edge. Well, not you... a problem. Okay. Oh, uh, adios, Playa Santa Spec. Adios. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. She went today, huh? Two thumbs up, Bill? Oh, two thumbs up. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the tour, the, the Mexicans got somebody in the boat. Please, Bill, just watch the frickin' road. Please. Please, Bill. Can you just watch the road a little bit? This is the dream come true. Now we carry on to the next spot. Look, it says to turn around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not turning around. I'm not sure what they mean. What do you think? So we're going to uh, Loreto next, 117 kilometers. And the camera's just turned off. Shot of the crew. Shot of the team. There we are. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, Bill, while it's not windy, let's go this way <clears> just a little ways and then we'll go that way. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Later. We'll see you in a little Does bit. It take you back? Yeah. Okay, you should be back at the. Did you pick the time? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
So I guess we start, we race right away? No. Because you'll lose. Yeah. <laughs> 